All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Shop My Stash video, which I actually don't think I've done before, but I was inspired by this picture of Katie Ravel. I'll put it on the screen here. I love her content, I love her videos, and as soon as I saw this makeup look that she did, I was like, I can recreate that or like something that's like a similar vibe using the products I have and I was like let's do a shot my stash video because because there's honestly nothing that makes me want to buy things less than use <laughs> using the makeup I already have for primer I'm not going to use a mattifying primer but I am going to use this elf poreless putty primer I recently bought this um because I <laughs> because e.l.f. just came to the um, like shoppers that's near me, or maybe just shoppers in general, I'm not sure, and I've heard so many good things about this primer, and I just decided to pick it up because I don't have very many, I don't, I don't have any um, like smoothing primers. I only have one or two like mattifying primer, and I thought that this could be a good addition to my collection. I, I'm not going to use a mattifying primer today just because I use it for like longevity of my makeup and I'm not going anywhere or doing anything after I film this so we're not going to use that today but I, I have been liking it. I don't think it's like maybe not going to be like a holy grail or anything but it doesn't make me greasy. I feel like it does like act as a pretty good base for makeup so I've been enjoying it so far. For foundation, I'm going to use the Ordinary um, Coverage Foundation. I use the shade 1N because in conjunction to using um, palettes that I already own to do this look, I also wanted to just use other products from other categories that I haven't used in a while. And I haven't used this in a bit, in like 8 or maybe even 9 or 10 months ago, this was like the only foundation I used. And I actually think this is a really beautiful, beautiful, just like natural finish, like medium coverage foundation. I need to start using this more often and it's so affordable. Okay, so now this is a really, well, exciting to me thing. Um, for brows, I talked about this in I think the last video I posted, but I've been recently starting to do soap brows and I feel so amped about it like honestly I want to like shout it from the rooftops that everyone should start doing this I started doing it so I just wet my little spoolie and I have just like a little clear soap and I just rub my spoolie in the soap I'm like the last person to ever do soap brows so this is not this is me learning this technique from other people but I recently felt inspired um, slash inclined to do this because number one I feel like my brows have been so bad recently and I just have been felt have been feeling so frustrated with them especially because I like when I edit my videos I have to like stare at them for so long and it's really <laughs> not the best time um, and also my friend I guess yeah friend slash acquaintance on Instagram, um, Carrie Does Makeup. You should definitely go check her out because she's so amazing, like so amazing and posts so consistently. I could honestly never. <laughs> um, she does soap brows all the time and I'm just like, I want my brows to look as good as Carrie's does. So I was like, let me just try soap brows and see. And I'm so converted. I'm never going to go back because I love the way they look so much. And I'm just combing through my brows with the soap that's on the spoolie. And my brows literally stay in place all day. And I didn't realize that that was an issue I had with my like, brow hair is not staying up until I started doing this and realized. <laughs> how much this soap holds my brows in place and then it also makes it so much easier to do my brows more naturally 
after I have like have them brushed up and stuff. So I've been absolutely loving this and it's so much more affordable than like buying brow gel all the time as well because soap is like super cheap. Um, and if you haven't tried it, I would definitely recommend giving it a go because it's not as hard as you think it is. And it is not that like big of a financial <laughs> um, like investment because it's like two or a couple dollars if you just want to try it out it's like one of the most ec exciting makeup things that i've started to do recently okay so while that was like drying and setting i just primed my eyes and now i'm going to go in and just like do little tiny hairs um, I'm not like the best at that, but I try I try my best and it definitely I feel looks better than me trying to do this with normal brow gel um, or just like before like just going in without like putting anything in my brows basically how I was doing my brows before. I'm actually so floored at how good my brows look when I do this. So yeah, like I said, I would definitely recommend just trying it because there's not a lot to lose. Um, if you have been interested in doing it, if any, if I can do it, anyone can do it, but I'm just going to do this quickly and then come back because I feel like brows aren't that exciting. Okay. So my brows are done. Unfortunately, because I've talked about them, <laughs> I feel like now they maybe don't look a hundred percent the best, but honestly, whatever. Now I'm going to start off doing my eyeshadow. So to start off and use as like a little bit of a transition shade, because I'm going to mainly using, be using the Melt um, Muerte palette today. It doesn't have a super light shade that I would prefer to use as a, as a transition shade. And because we're shopping our stash and using other things, I'm not limited to one palette when I film today. So I just used this palette actually in, in a first impressions recently. It's the Beauty Bay Book of Magic palette. I'm gonna take the shade Wish and I'm gonna start off using that in my crease. I'm just basically gonna be blending it like everywhere. Apparently this palette is limited edition, which I did not realize, which is honestly a shame and unfortunate considering the timing of my video, but whatever. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the Melt palette and I'm going to take the shade Lagrimas. I don't know Spanish, so <laughs> these shade pronunciations are not going to be the best, but I'm going to take that just in my inner corner or no my outer corner and my crease um it appears as though it's almost an identical shade to the shade that i just used but a little bit deeper so i feel justified in using it but i don't think i'm gonna recreate her look exactly i'm more taking inspiration from it and just kind of like doing my makeup how i personally would normally do it but she is a hundred percent the inspiration behind this for sure and I will link her channel and her Instagram down below, of course, as well as Carrie's Instagram. I haven't used this palette in such a long time, and it's such a beautiful palette. Especially this shade that I'm using right now, it's such a dream to work with. Now that that's built up, I'm going to take this shade next to it called Duelo. It's this dark green. And I'm going to put this in my outer corner and my crease as well. Melt mattes definitely take a little bit more work to finesse and like blend out. They're, I wouldn't call them beginner friendly. They're really high intensity and a little bit finicky, but they're so nice once you like are able to manipulate them and blend them out the impact that their shadows give is just like nothing else i love them so much i also hope the lighting's okay today i have opened all the windows in the room that i'm in so it's just like lighter in general and i hope it's it's better i'm crossing my fingers so it's not actually just like so dark like all my other videos were. I was getting a little bit annoyed. Because <laughs> it was just like shadows behind me, but. Okay, so my brother was just on the phone and then my camera died. So I took that as a sign to 
finish my eyes and do my cut crease off camera and we're reconvened now. So I've cut my crease and I've just blended a little bit of the Legra Mask shadow onto my lid and now I'm going to go into the shade Angelito. It's this metallic teal shade and I'm going to put that all over my lids. I've said it before that melts metallic shades aren't my favorite formula. To be honest, they're not that sparkly and they're not that like really amazing or special, but they're pretty when you get them to work. Their mattes are definitely the way, the way to go though. I guess I didn't have to cut my crease, but because, but it's just my preferred shape. So if I have the option, I'm gonna take it. And I'm just gonna blend a little bit more of the Lycrima shade into onto my lid and just merge the two. Ugh, I love the tones of these shades. They're so pretty. I haven't done a teal eye in so long. And then I'm just going to build Duelo up, which was that deep, darker teal on my outer corner as well. And then I'm going to take Angelito with my finger and intensify that on my lid. And that's basically my eyes done. So now I'm going to do concealer. Um, the only concealer that I haven't really used a lot recently is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. This is in the shade uh, 320 Porcelain. I am almost out of this. I actually probably should try to take this stopper out. This is quite light as you can see. Um, this foundation is a touch dark for me so it looks especially light compared to my foundation shade. I do really like this and I would definitely consider buying it again but it's definitely quite full coverage and quite matte as you can see so if you're not into that you won't like this that's quite a stark stark contrast normally I try to go for concealers that match my skin tone this is this is a little light. Actually, it's pretty much a perfect match for my actual skin tone, but very few foundations actually match that, so I guess this will kind of even, even my face out a little bit from my neck, I don't know. Which is also part of the reason why I don't reach for this as much, but I kind of want to finish this concealer before summer because not that I really tan, but I might get like half a shade darker than my win than my skin tone in winter, so this might be a little bit too dark for that, but you can see it like basically matches my neck now. And that is pretty high coverage, so that pretty much covers everything, but I am gonna take a touch of my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer and just conceal any major blemishes I have, but refuse to be covered by anything else particularly my little neck pimples does anyone else get pimples on their neck because they've been coming out in full force recently and it's quite irritating to me i think it's because of my mask like when i pull my mask down at work when i'm in the lab alone and just leave it there i think that might be why I'm not really using anything different for powder because I don't really have that many options in my collection for powder, so I'm just going to do my powder off camera and then come back. Okay, so I've done my powder and now I'm going to finish up my lower lash line because I look a little weird. So I'm just going to take the Lagrimas shade and blend that all along my lower lash line and blend it out. I feel like this video might be a little bit shorter just because I'm not really talking that much because it's been loud in my apartment and if I don't control myself all my videos will be like 45 minutes long. I don't know how people do get ready with me's and then like talk during them as well and then they're like 20 minutes. I don't understand. I don't get it. I think I've come to the conclusion that perhaps it just takes me a while to do my makeup. <laughs> Um, which is fine. It just requires me to edit myself in a way that 
other people might not have to. <laughs> and then to deepen things up, I'm just gonna take the sh same shade Duello, Duello, and put that along my lower lash line as well. And then to blend everything out, I'm gonna take the same Wish shade, the initial transition shade I used, and just really blend, blend it all. For my inner corner, I'm gonna take the shade Kaleka. It's this gold shade from the um, Muerte palette. I'm gonna take this on a little brush and I'm gonna spray it because these metallics are quite powdery, or not powdery, but like really crumbly, particularly this shade. And I'm just gonna put this on my inner corner, like I just said. And I'm gonna, I'll blend that out in a second. <laughs> Then I think I'm going to take my face highlighter when I get to it and just put that on my brow bone because I don't really have a shade in these palettes that will do that for me. I am going to contour my face because I always do. I'm going to use my Kevin Kwan Sculpting Powder in Medium. A lot of people don't contour anymore. I don't really do a ton. I just do a little bit in the backs of my cheekbones and on my forehead and around my jawline. I just feel like I can't contour something that I just can't quit because I have such a little tiny square head that I feel like <laughs> if I don't contour, my head just looks like a little cube. <laughs> so maybe that's my own insecurities, but I keep, I contour every day. So for bronzer, I'm going to use this little sample of the Tarte Park Avenue Princess bronzer. I'm trying to use it up because I've had it in my collection for absolutely ever and I don't particularly love it and I'm just trying to use it up and get it out. I'm not a panner by any stretch of the imagination. I actually could never be a panner. I I hate <laughs> actually hitting pan on my products because I want them all to last forever and ever and I never want to have to repurchase anything but I am trying to use up some of my bronzers just because all of my bronzers pretty much that I own are not really, their shade ranges aren't that inclusive and I just want to use them up and make space in my collection for bronzers that have more inclusive shade ranges. Before I do highlight, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Lasting Fix Makeup Setting Spray and just spray my face. For highlight, I'm going to use a product that I haven't used in a really long time. I'm going to use the Beauty Bakery Milk and Honey Palette. I'm going to use the shade Spoiler Alert. It's the champagne shade at the bottom here. This is such a beautiful highlighter formula. I've spoken about this before. I feel like these are almost an exact formula dupe of the ABH um, like Glow Kit formula. And then I'm also going to take a small little amount of that and put that on my brow bone. Okay, my camera battery just died, so we're, it's a race against the clock here. But I'm going to use a peachy blush because in her look, Kat used a really peachy blush and a peachy lip, and I really like the way it looked. I'm going to use another product that I haven't used in a while, keeping with the theme of the video. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Keep It Peachy. Ooh, I think this looks really cool. This is not something that I would normally do. Normally when I do greens and blues, I go in with something that's pretty neutral. But I love the way this looks. I think it's so cool. And now for a little blush topper action here, I'm gonna go into the shade Be Sweet from the Beauty Bakery palette. So I'm going to, because my camera battery keeps dying and I cannot deal with it anymore. I'm going to finish up my eyes and put something on my lips and then also do some freckles and then I'll be back to conclude. Okay, so it's a race against the clock before my camera battery dies, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me just quickly before I end let you know what I used. I used a little bit of this shade um, Pantheon. I just said that French. <laughs> Pantheon? Panty? I don't know how it's pronounced, but it looks like Pantheon. 
uh, it's just this dark gray. I used it like in my outer corners to deepen things up a little bit. On my lips, I used my trusty L'Oreal Lip Liner in Matting Call. Let me find this lipstick. Ah. And then for my lipstick, I used the Propa Beauty Made It. I think I've been saying that wrong. I don't think it's Propa. I think it's actually Propa Beauty. But this is the lipstick in the shade Made It. It's this orangey color and I think it complements the cheeks so well. I, like I said when I was doing my blush, never would have paired necessarily like peach and teal together but I think it looks so great which is the beauty I suppose of recreating other people's looks because it kind of can bring you out of your normal makeup style or comfort zone and I really want to continue doing shot my stashes maybe inspired by other people as like I did in this video or just in general um, because like I said at the intro shopping my stash or just using products that I haven't used in a while is like number one way for me to feel less inclined to buy things and I really enjoyed doing this and I also love watching people shop my stashes I don't know why I just feel like it's really it's fun to see like the products that people haven't used in a while and then watching them rediscover favorites. Let me know if you like this look. Are there any people that you particularly love on Instagram? Let me know because I would, I'm would. i always in the mood. I'm always down to follow new people because I feel like there's so many talented people on Instagram. It's honestly so intimidating, but <laughs> I'm always open to following new people and discovering new artists. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to see from me. Everything that I use in my face will be written in the description box as it mm, is most of the time. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!